Hi, I'm Beck, and food's my life. In today's video, I'm making a luscious dessert with a lot of wow factor, and it's coming right up. I'll be completely honest with you, I've never liked trifle. Never been a trifle person, never liked the mixture of textures, never really liked the flavors until I found this recipe and I've tweaked it a little bit to make it my own and I like to call it my chocolate mousse and raspberry trifle. This trifle is different. It's not like your 1970s one with the jam roll cut up in it and the, the fruit and the custard. No, no. This is much more modern, much more sophisticated and it's got chocolate mousse in it. Who won't like it? It's also really easy to do and very quick to whip up, especially when you take a few little shortcuts. Let me show you how it's done. Now the first step is to make a Chantilly cream. So in my bowl here, I have emptied a 600 ml bottle of thickened cream and I'm going to start whipping this till it's nice and thick. Now I can feel my cream start to thicken, nowhere near thick enough. But this is the stage where I'm going to stop and add two tablespoons of icing sugar. And this is what makes it Chantilly cream. Chantilly cream just means sweetened cream. So now I've added my sugar. I'm going to keep going till this is nice and thick, the perfect consistency I want. And that looks perfect. Next step, in another bowl, I'm going to empty a tin of evaporated milk. To this, I'm going to add half a cup of strong black coffee and one more ingredient, which is very important. I'm going to add half a cup of masala. So, add these three ingredients together and then give them a good stir. This is what we're going to soak our sponge finger biscuits in. And these are the biscuits I'm using for the recipe. Savoyardi biscuits are our Italian sponge finger biscuits, perfect for trifles. Now comes the fun part, it's time for assembly. So over here I have my masala mixture and my sponge finger biscuits. I have my trifle bowl here. I have a few punnets of fresh raspberries, but you're most welcome to use frozen ras raspberries if you can't get fresh ones. I'm going to cut corners a little bit, I'm cheating today, and I'm going to use bought mousse, chocolate mousse. Um, I just don't have the time to make it myself. Ideally you should, but this mousse, this particular brand is really yummy, so I can rely on this one. And then I've also got my Chantilly cream. So we're just going to layer upon layer, starting with the biscuits, then the mousse, raspberries and cream. And we're going to repeat that three times and then decorate the top. So one at a time, we grab our sponge finger biscuit and we hold it in the masala mixture, letting all those bubbles come up to the surface so we know that mixture is absorbing into the biscuit. And then we're going to layer those biscuits on the bottom. Now to get a nice effect at the end, it's really important that you keep the sides of your bowl nice and clean. So if there is a bit of a mess, just clean it as you go. All right, so the next layer is the chocolate mousse. So the next layer is the raspberries, and you can just scatter them around on top, but I always think it's a good idea, just for aesthetic purposes, so it looks pretty, is to make sure that some of your raspberries are very clearly visible around the sides of the bowl first. This is what gives it a really nice effect once it's all laid in the end. We want to see those beautiful little red jewels. So the next step is our cream. Just take a nice generous helping and dollop it on top. So that's it, that's one layer. I'm going to go ahead now and do that all over again. Now, instead of putting raspberries on that top layer of mousse, I'm going to finish this off with some thickened cream some chocolate flake, and a final layer of raspberries. Wow, look at that. That is absolutely 
beautiful, elegant, delicious. I'd love to do a taste test now, but I just can't because I've got guests coming tonight and I don't think it's a good look if I've had a big chunk missing. So you're going to have to take my word for it. I have eaten this many times and I can guarantee you it tastes as good as it looks. Perfect if you're going for a barbecue and you want to impress your friends and you've been asked to bring dessert along or a really great Christmas dessert. It's got the Christmas colors going on. You've really got to try this. So if you want to have a go at making this delicious chocolate mousse raspberry trifle, just check out the description box below where you'll find a link to my website. From there, you'll find the recipe and you must give it a go. Don't forget, if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up or better still, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll always know what I'm up to in the kitchen and I'll see you next time.